Hi, this is Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps, and I'm going to show you how to install Xcode in the, the most efficient way. So Apple's got uh, Apps for Developers link that you can look at, but it's a lot easier if you just search for Xcode and click on Xcode to install it. There's a big install button that you're gonna see. Just click that and it will start the download process and it will install everything that you need in order to create iPhone apps or Apple Watch apps. It's gonna take a little bit of time because it is 5.39 gigabytes, so it's a little bit of a large file, and the install process probably will not go as quickly if you're running on a slower Mac. You will be able to develop for the newest iPhones using the latest version of Xcode. So here we can see the iPhone X, which you can start prototyping and building your apps for. And you can also target Apple Watch or Apple TV or even iPad apps. So Xcode's a really cool tool. Let's fast forward a little bit while we wait so that we can jump forward in time. All right, so now we're back and we've gone forward. We're nearing the completion of installing Xcode and we're almost ready to get started. In the next video, I'm gonna take you through the initial experience working with Xcode. There's certain dialogues that will appear and I'll walk you through what they mean and what you can do with them, as well as getting started with your very first iPhone app project so that you can play around with the software. Thanks for watching. Hey, this is Paul. Real quick before you go, I've got all the source code over here on the right. If you wanna download the source code, go to the link that's over on the right or down below. You can grab that code. If you like that, click the like button. Also, before you go, once you go to this site, you'll see a little form. If you fill that out, type your email address in here and click the download now button. That's gonna send you an email with all the source code. So just check your email in order to get started. All right, so this has got a lot of design resources from Sketch to PNGs to Xcode projects is gonna be very useful. Lastly, click the subscribe button, which is over my head. If you want to get updates when I have new videos, I'm gonna be posting regular content on a weekly basis. And then last but not least, just like this video if you found any of the topics that I talked about helpful. I'm gonna be showing you the next step in the next video. So let's go do that.